Welcome back, everybody. This is Eon Chikino for HMTV. I'm bringing you another StarCraft II commentary. Let's go ahead and introduce our players. Down here on the bottom left side of the map is the Red Zerg player. It's going to be MTW Demaga. His opponent on the top right side of the map is going to be our Green Protoss, green protoss player, Rockus Frere. So I'm more familiar with uh, Demaga's playstyle in ZVP. Uh, on bigger maps, he really likes to uh, turtle, I guess you would call it. He'll just get super late game. He'll play so passive. One of the most passive Zerg players I've seen in late game ZVP. He'll just sit there with spine crawlers, infestors, and broodlords, and just slowly go around the map. Uh, it's really something to see. Quite interesting play from him. Uh, not too familiar with Frere's style as a Protoss player, but this is already interesting. He's building a pylon in his main as opposed to out here. Uh, normally a Protoss player will build a pylon out here so he can go for a forge, fast expand, wall this off, but he's not. So is this gonna be a gateway or a forge? Okay, it's gonna be a gateway. This is interesting. This is uh, uncommon uh, as far as Protoss versus Zerg goes. Uh, we'll just determine whether or not Demaga will scout this out. Gaff's already going up really quick, so what is Frere gonna do here? Uh, in early StarCraft 2 days, uh, the uh, Protoss player would put a pylon here, gateway up here, and put like one zealot here to block it off with another building here. Um, but I'm really curious to see what Fur is going to do. This is this is pretty interesting. Spawning pool going to go up for Demaga, so uh, that's going to be good for him. He can uh, If he gets gas early enough, he can do a speedling expand, which should work pretty well against Fur's build if he does scout it out. There's the hatch going to go down for Demaga. And a Cyber Next Core. Okay, so uh, I f it seems like Frere is doing just like the standard build a Protoss player would do if he was going up against a random player and he didn't know like what he was up against. Uh, just a pretty basic um, Protoss versus X build, but um, I'm really interested to see what he's going to do here. So the expansion is up here at Fort Damaga. He uh, still hasn't scouted out his opponent yet, but right now he's, he did scout out there's no expansion. That's a huge... That's a lot of information to know that there's no expansion. He's going to come up here and say, okay, he doesn't have a wall off. No wall off. And now there's going to be an expansion wall starting. Uh, Zealot's coming out. Shock coming out. I'm researching that. Warp gate research as well. And uh, Demaga, I wonder how he's going to react to this. Is he going to go for just some type of bust? Uh, or what his plan is? He hasn't started any gas yet. So if he goes for Zerglings, he can just make pure Zerglings. He's got no gas incoming. It'll be a long time before he can get roaches. But uh, Frere already long distance mining with his probes, already rallying them down there. Front boosting out uh, another Stalker. So he's going to have a Zealot and two Stalkers, and the pressure is just going to come right now. Uh, what is Dog going to have to deal with this? He hasn't made any Zerglings yet, and is the pressure going to continue? He's going to scout with the Zergling. Okay, Dog is going to see one gas, Cyber Next Core, and a Gateway. Expansion goes down, and this is going to allow Frere to pressure out the two Stalkers and one Zealot. The one Zealot is already at the natural. There are no... Oh, no. There are no Zerglings out in Damaga. Uh, I don't know if he knows how much pressure is coming his way. If the, he had to have seen that Chrono Boosted Stalker come out. And the Spinecrawler is going to go down. He isn't making any Zerglings yet. He's going to get two gases right now. And Damaga may be underestimating this pressure. He does have three Queens out, but if he gets that Spinecrawler up, he should have in more than enough to deal with this. We will see... Uh, the Stalker is going to get a couple pot shots in there, but the Queens, these three Queens should be enough to deal with this. Creep turn is going to be placed there, allow those Queens to move a little bit faster. Because Queens off Creep are extremely slow. So he does see the wall off at the front now, the extra gateways. Spinecrawler is getting up there. And two more gas now for Demanga, so Demanga getting a quick fourth gas, quick third and fourth gas there. Probe at the top here, so we're going to have some more pressure coming from Frere. This isn't over yet. He's got, whoa, more gateways coming out. This is going to be a five gateway push. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a five gateway push uh, off this expansion. And if Demog is not ready for this, this could be the end of the game right now. And oh, no, Demog is teching up. Demog has got zero, I think, zero attacking units at this point besides the queens. He's, yeah, he has three queens and a spine crawler. He's teching up. Uh, he's invested in economy and tech and no army. And this is such a perfect timing for Frere to come in here and attack. And Demaga just hasn't scouted it out. Uh, Frere is looking pretty good at this point. If he can get in a big army here off this five gates, uh, this is going to be rough to deal with. And now we have the... Oh, I love this position here from Frere. Look, this is going around the top of the map and not running past this Overlord here. 
Such a smart play there from Frere. Damaga does not see the wall off. If he would see this wall off here, he would know pressure is coming and he would know to make Zerglings and Spine Crawlers or something because right now he's got one Spine Crawler. Uh, and he's got a couple Zerglings out, but no speed. Speed is only halfway done. He's going to get a snow not surround on that Zealot. He's going to get so cost effective this. He's microing the Zerglings away, but now he's going to see the attack. He's got way too many units here. Uh, now Damaga knows about it. He's got 14 Zerglings being produced. He's like, oh wow, he's got a forward pylon from Frere. And Damaga's got to be sweating it right now. Uh, this is a really tough attack to stop at this point. He's going to force to be pulled. Drones, Zealots get up there at the front. They're going to deal some damage. Garden Shield goes down to reduce the damage there from the Queens. And, oh no, he's asked to get up some more spy Crawlers. Zerglings just streaming out now. If Damaga holds this, he's going to be in a really nice position, but it's going to be so close to hold this. More Zealots being morphed in. So many Zealots versus just the Zerglings. This is an extremely good composition for Frere. Force Shield goes down. He needs to get those spy Crawlers up. He needs to get more Zerglings out. And he's going to focus fire. He's going to kill down the top spine crawler. Yes, he's going to get it to Zealots. Continue to chop through the Zerglings really quickly. Three shot those guys, but he's got 14 more Zerglings coming out. More Zealots being warped now. Frere. Oh, speed is finished. That's a huge play there for uh, Demog. He's going to need to get that speed done. He needs to get those Zerglings in the back to take out the Stalkers, take out the Sentry. Zealots pushing now forward. And Demog does not have any spine crawlers. The hatchery might fall here. He needs to get around the back. Yes, good positioning there from Demog, but there's just so many Zealots. The supply favors Frere. And there's the GG. Good luck. Or, uh, I don't know, I said good luck. <laughs> Maybe he's continuing on in the tournament. This is from Zodak Cup, but, um, really interesting play there from Frere. Uh, I, I guess Demaga just wasn't, I don't know, because this is a really uncommon Protoss build against Zerg. Uh, and, you know, that's, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, is, uh, you're playing against something uncommon, you don't know exactly how to react to it based on the scouting information you get. But uh, Frere did a really good job of just disguising what he was doing, disguising the pressure, hiding, uh, the pylon at the top and uh, hiding these units sneaking out of the top of his base. So, great play there from Frere. Really interesting uh, five-gate timing attack. And uh, Demaga's probably thinking, ah, if I, only, if I only would have made more Zerglings at the start, or maybe they did a Speedling expand, he could have scattered out that early probe, scattered out the pylon, and slowed this push down enough to get a couple more spine crawlers up. But anyways, that was a really good game. Great play there from Frere. Hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. Thanks for watching. See you later.